A Poway 8th grader is back home after competing in the 2024 Scripps National Spelling Bee, spelling words that many of us haven't even heard of or wouldn't even try to take a stab at spelling. While he may not have come home with the top prize, he and his family are beyond proud of what he's accomplished. It's been a whirlwind of a week for Poway 8th grader Ben Evans and his family. I had no idea how big of like a production it was until I got there. The production was the 2024 Scripps National Spelling Bee, where Ben took part as the San Diego County Regional Champ. I think of it as like a big puzzle of everything that I've heard from like other people spelling their words and like even just like studying on my own. At that point, you just piece it together and hope it's right. And there's not much you can do about it past that. He got past words like W-A-N-A, -A, Gondwana. Correct. And L-Y-C-O-P-E-N-E, -E, lycopene. That is correct. With his family standing and smiling with pride as Ben spelt his way into the semifinals with C-H-E-R-E, -E, Torcher. That is correct. You know, it was quite a proud moment for us that he was able to do so well and, you know, was very calm up there. You know, we looked up there and just, we felt pressure in the audience. Unfortunately, right. Ben heard the bell and was eliminated as he tied for 22nd. I did not honestly think I was making it that far at all. I was pretty set on making it past the first day, but past then when it's just, uh, when it's off list, it's, I had no idea what was gonna happen. <laughs> now that the Evans are back from the B, Ben says he's thankful for the love coming from home. It was all my friends and the community and my teachers, coaches, teammates, people from church that were supporting me here. It was amazing to see all of that. And the lasting impact of the B. How do we use this going forward? Like whether it be with your music, whether it be with sports, school, learning these tools on how to study better and how to prepare better and, you know, just to kind of give it that all. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.